Hey, yo, before we even start this joint, go ahead and get this video a thumbs up. You know it's going to be top-notch boss game. Welcome back to another episode of the Book of Alpha Running Me, where we embrace all of the principles of manhood and masculinity so that men around the world can finally regrasp their alpha energy. Let's do that now. The reason why the church is so filled with women is because women respect spiritual authority. They respect and they desire righteousness. You have to understand that you have to stand on your principles. That's what separates us from them. That's what separates men from women, the principles. When you look at the Most High giving the word to the children of Israel, not once do you hear him address a group of women. He always addressed men because in his mind, we are we have the capacity to be principled, to stand on principle, to stand on righteousness. In his mind, he never considered that they do. They have the capacity to follow us, but look how strict they had to be. Do not allow her to give you half effort. Do not allow her to give you tired energy. If she's giving you tired energy, you better make her pull some energy from somewhere else. If she's going to cut back on anything, she's going to cut back on hours at, at the job. She's going to cut back on hanging with her family. She's going to cut back on watch, or doing whatever she's doing. Never allow her to cut back energy from you. You got to make sure that in her mind, you are, the, you are not just a priority. You are the number one priority in her life. You have to do that. There's no other way around it. Make sure that she is on the job at all times. Her number one job is you. And you have to make sure she knows that every single day. Otherwise, it's simply not going to work. So there's going to be constant energy out in public, out in society, pulling her to do whatever it is that she thinks she wants to do. But she can only do that with the time she has left after she take care of her endeavors at home, the things she needs to be doing at home. You have to do that. You don't have any other choice. We're talking about how can you be alpha in a relationship, in a marriage? See, the thing is, if she does not submit to your control, to your rule, she is not wifey material. In her mind, she may be, but in reality, she is not. So as you grow, you make sure you change the expectations for her as you grow to uh, to to uh, to coincide with whatever level you grow to. That's the only way to keep her on that same level, because if she got to play catch up, it's hard to play catch up with somebody who's already in front of you and they're growing. You can only catch up with someone who stifles their growth or who stunts their growth or who becomes complacent and stays idle. You can't catch up with someone that's already ahead of you and they're rolling. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to do. You have to remember this. An idle male mind is the devil's workshop. He has to go in, put in work to change you. An idle female's mind is the devil's playground. He goes in there and just has a blast. You know what I'm saying? Goes in there, manipulates her, takes her where he wants her to go. It's a playground for him. That's just the way it is. Is it bad? Is it good? It's not bad or good. It's just the factual way that it is, man. We don't talk about what's bad, what's good, what's nice, what's not. We don't deal with that stuff here, man. What we talk about here, man, is the truth of life. That's all we want to talk about. I don't care about nothing but the truths of life. I don't care how many women you got. I don't care how many women you get. I don't care what women tell you. I don't care how beautiful they are. I don't care if they give you money. None of that stuff validates your alpha essence. You are alpha because you are. Those are just benefits of being alpha. Never get it misconstrued that those things represent you being alpha. You know what I'm saying? Those things happen to you because you're alpha. It seems simple. It seems like they're the same thing, but I'm telling you, man, a slight shift in mindset can change your future projections for your life. Listen, man, the more you are like a woman, the less respect you're going to get from her, the less you're going to be able to lead her and guide her. Women want to be guided and led by a man who knows what he wants, by a man who knows how to get it, by a man who knows how to tell her how to help him get it. I don't leave anything to her to decide. She can decide things by her career, and, I, and really, man, I'll be perfectly honest with you, man. I ain't too keen on having a woman, man, that's all about her career. Careers are time consuming. They are energy draining. She's got too much energy going outside of the scenario. 
And it's going to be tough to get her to pull that energy from that scenario because she's got so much time and energy invested in it. So much financial waste with student loans. So many years put into it so that she's not going to be able to just pull away from it because then all of that work is going to be a waste. It's going to be a loss for it. And it's going to be very hard to get a woman to pull away from that. And really, you should want her to. If she's already decided that that career path is what she's going to take, she's going to be a career woman, you can't try to change her. You just let her do that. She's not meant to be in that situation with you. Now, if you want a partner, you know, if, you, if you're one of those men who say, well, I just want a partner, we can be 50-50. She goes make her money and sometime, you know, I'll wash her drawers. Then that's you if that's what you want to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking that. But what you do have to do is what it is that makes you tick. If that's what makes you tick, you do that. Don't try to do what I do. Don't try to do what Graham does. Don't try to do what Jay Stacks does. You do what you do, man. If that's your thing, you do that. This is the catch-22. You can either have that woman that's a career woman, and she's going to get that money. But she ain't doing none of the wifely duties. Probably ain't that good at sex. You know, most career women aren't that great at sex because they never had time to get in touch with their, their feminine energy. They're in a world where they're competing with men for grades, for jobs, for positions, for money. They are in a different mindset than the feminine, sensitive woman that you want to have as your wife. So if you're looking for a traditional wife, she's going to have a traditional role where you're going to be the primary breadwinner. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to do. That's just the role you have to accept if that's the life you want. If you want to have a wife, man, to put three, four, five, six kids in her, man, you're going to have to understand that she's going to be at the crib. Hopefully you're a businessman because I'm telling you, you there ain't no job you're going to have out here, man. If you take care of wife, man, three, four, five, six, seven kids, man, you ain't going to be able to do it. You got to be an entrepreneur. You got to have your own money flowing, man. You got to be able to dictate your money flow. You got to be able to dictate your hours. You got to be able to dictate your energy. You got to be able to make moves when necessary to be able to grow your fortune. And that's another thing that you're going to have to be apple to adapt that mindset. Because if you're beta, the thought of being in that scenario makes you feel weak. It makes you feel like your resources are being distracted. We always talk about how, you know, back then, women were wives, women were okay with being led. Yeah, women weren't out here with careers either. So if you want a woman who don't have a career, you're going to have to be situated enough where you can handle that. And granted, this is the thing about being an entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur, then all of the energy she puts into working, she could be working to be help you build what you're building. That's what a help meet is. So you don't need to hire a secretary. And listen, man, Let's say she does have a career. This is the one caveat to a woman who has a career. Let's say she's an accountant. Hey, man, you got a business you need in the county. Let her work at home. You know what I'm saying? Let her work for your business. Don't worry about what you got to pay. Look at the crib she's living in. Look at what she's driving. Look at how she's living. That's her pay. You ain't got to write her no check. You know what I'm saying? She already living a good life. Of course, she's going to have access to money to do things, you know, to, to buy things, to take care of the household, to buy things for herself. You know what I'm saying? To keep herself beautified. But what I am, this is a scenario strictly for alpha men, man. If this is hurting your ears or, or making you feel some kind of way or, or, or if it's bothering you in some kind of way, then this ain't for you. This is the alpha man mindset. That's all it is. So you're going to have to be in a situation where you're perfectly okay with her not going out somewhere else, working for somebody else. Everything she does, all of the energy that she puts forth for growth needs to be dedicated to you and what you're doing. This is what I tell them. What's mine is mine. What's yours is mine. But everything that's mine, I share with you. So don't worry about it being mine. As long as you're the woman I need you to be, you got access to it. But just remember, it's mine. You always demand her best effort. This is another part of it. If she's going to work every day, work for somebody else, she's not giving you her best effort. Her best effort is going to the job. She's just like everybody else who got a job. She come home, she tired. She's already given her best at the office. She don't have her best to give to you at home. You're not going to be able to drill any of this into the Harvard wall banger head. Her mind is already made up by who she's going to be. It's the only thing about older chicks, everything you say to them, they think is a lie. Because if she older and she's single, she already got a certain idea about me. So even if you're 100, like I do, they already have in their mind, man, they 50% believe you, 50% don't. I ain't got time for that. I need them to be a tad bit naive. I don't need them to have crossed that line to that point where they've been run through and treated so poorly and done all that that they don't believe nothing I say because I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't got time to be trying to prove my truth. Now, I ain't lying. So I'm not going to prove my truth. I'm going to tell you my truth. If you can't accept my truth, then you don't need to be around me. And that's, that my, that's my reality, man. I'm not proving to no woman that I'm not like the other men she had before. I ain't got time for that. 
I wish I would, man. Man, let me tell you something, bro. I say all the time, I tell chicks all the time, I'm an old man trapped in a young man body. I'm the best of both worlds. You understand what I'm saying? Everything that makes an old man attractive, I got that internally. Everything that makes a young man attractive, I got that externally. How can you do better than me, shawty? And that's the reality of life, man. When I get through talking to a chick, man, when I have a real conversation with her, when I have an opportunity to really chop it up with her face to face, man, they'll tell me if they weren't looking at me, they'll swear I was a 65-year-old man. Because I just elevate myself, man, into what I know. The things I've learned, I trust them. And I live on those principles. Like I said earlier, be a man of high principles that you don't compromise or take lightly. See, that doesn't mean that you just go out. We all believe the same thing. We all have the same principles. Your principles are built over your lifetime. The things that are proven to work for you, the things that you learn from the elders around you. There are some universal things, but for the most part, there are a whole lot of things that we all learn as individuals. Those are the things you stand on. I don't compromise those principles. And then at the same time, when she sees I'm a staunch disciplinarian because I'm not going to take no foolish from her either she's gonna behave the way she need to behave or i'm gonna put on punishment i'm gonna put on ice or the worst case scenario i'm gonna cut all the way off now all of this stuff ain't gonna apply to everyone about 50 percent of women in the world are already a lost cause when it comes to thinking about being in a relationship but the other 50 percent man they are fair game and the thing is the pickings are slim for them because they want alpha men they want a man who's going to take control. Let me tell you something about a woman. All she has to be in one relationship with a beta male. All she has to be in one relationship with a man that don't take control. A man she got to control. A man she got to run. A man she got to dictate to. Then you know what she's going to do? She's going to be thriving for that alpha energy. That's why you meet a lot of beautiful young women, man, that's single. You meet them, they're young, they're tender, they're single, they're sweet as peach pie, and you meet them, and you know what it is? They've already seen the qualities that a beta male possesses, a man who does not know how to take charge, a man who does not have the confidence to take charge. I'm telling you, man, they want you to take charge, man. Like, I don't understand this whole thing about, man, I never had a woman try to be in a position of power in my life. I never had a woman try it. My personality is dumb enough where you feel like if you don't submit, it's going to be a fight. You know what I'm saying? That's how dominant my personality is with the woman. Because when I see her, that's the position I'm in already. I don't feel like I'm in that position. That's the position I'm in. That's the only position I'm going to be in in her life. So there's going to be some chastisement coming, a whole lot of chastisement. And all I am saying is you have to chastise her 100% of the time when she deserves it. You can never give her a pass on that. Like this video on your way out if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. When you subscribe, click that notification bell. Make sure your notifications are on so you can be alerted to when I upload some more of this real shit. And as always, alpha's up, beta's down. Peace.